Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Cassie and I make videos about photography and videography and video editing. So if you're interested in that type of content, make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss anything. Today I'm going to be talking about what white balance is, why it is important, and how to adjust it in a DSLR camera. In order to understand white balance, you need to understand color temperature. This may sound complicated, but the idea of color temperature is something that we are all taught in elementary art class. So you have cool tone colors like blue and green and purple, and then you have warm tone colors like red, yellow, and orange. The part that we aren't usually taught as children about color temperature is how to measure it. The temperature of an image can be measured in Kelvin. So I just need to talk over myself for a second here because I actually explain this the complete opposite way of what it is supposed to be. But basically, color temperature is measured the opposite of what normal temperature is measured. So the higher the temperature, the cooler the color of the image will be. So what does this have to do with white balance? Well, the goal of white balance is to neutralize those warm and cool tones in order to get the lighting to be closest to natural daylight. Most cameras will have different modes that you can put your white balance in in order to change the temperature of the image that you're taking. Here are the modes that are available in my camera, which is the Canon Rebel T6i. The first one is automatic white balance. This is the setting that you're going to use most often. Cameras are generally able to neutralize color temperature fairly accurately on their own. If you're taking photos outside on a sunny day, your camera should do just fine in the auto white balance setting. It starts getting more complicated when you're in a setting with more than one light source and there are different types of light sources. For example, right here where I am, I have a window right here which is bringing in natural light and I have a ring light on my tripod which is not turned on, but if that was turned on, it would change the temperature of the image. Actually, let me turn it on real quick so you can see. It's not plugged in. <laughs> hmm, okay. So if my ring light was plugged in and I turned it on, you would see the temperature of the image change. And you know what? I'm embarrassed now. Let's move on. Next white balance setting on my camera is daylight, which measures at 5200 Kelvin. Next I have shade, which measures at 7000 Kelvin. Cloudy measures at 6000 Kelvin. Tungsten light measures at 3200, and that is like the normal light bulbs that you would find in a house. White fluorescent light measures at 4000 Kelvin. There's also a flash option if you're going to be using flash. The last white balance setting is the custom white balance setting. This mode will use a custom white balance that you have created in the settings of your camera, and I'm gonna show you how to do that next. If none of your preset white balance modes are working to get the temperature that you're looking for, you can go to the settings of your camera and set up your own white balance. This will require a gray card or a blank piece of white paper. The first step is to take a picture of the card or the paper filling up the entire frame of the camera. And you wanna make sure that you're taking this photo in the same lighting that you're going to be photographing your subject. Next, you're gonna to go to your camera's settings and select custom white balance. Now it's going to ask you to choose an image from your camera and you're going to choose the gray or white card that you had taken a photo of. And then you'll just go ahead and select yes. Now when you go back into your white balance modes, the custom white balance mode will use the white balance that you set with that image. And if it's still not exactly what you're wanting it to be, then you can go back and redo that step and take another picture of the gray card. Just like in every photography tutorial that I make, I do want to stress how important it is that you get out and experiment with these settings on your own camera. These modes and different settings are going to be a little bit different on every digital camera, and the best way to learn is to experiment. Now that you know how white balance works, you should be able to have a nice neutral color temperature in your photos, or something that's unnatural. I mean, 
don't be afraid to get creative. If you have any ideas for tutorials that you'd like to see on this channel, feel free to leave them in a comment down below. I'm always looking for new ideas for content to make and I'm having so much fun making these tutorials and informational videos. So ask me anything that you want and I would love to learn alongside you. So if I don't know how to do it, then I will learn and then I will teach you. <laughs> I hope you all have a beautiful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.